African, 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 Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are a returning sub, thank you, thank you so much for tuning back in. If you are a new sub, baby, welcome to the party. Baby, welcome As to the party. See, this is a maintenance vlog and it's starting very abrupt and quick. We are getting up out of here, okay? So we are starting off this maintenance vlog by going to Damos, which is where I get my clothes custom made and tailored. Damos is definitely a place that I have to go to, especially when I'm going on vacation or just if I need something custom made for myself, I'm going to go right on there. This is me trying on the two piece that you see on display and it was fire. I don't know what I'm going to wear it to, but I got it. I also had her tailor the pants that I was wearing to the airport because like the waist was a little bit too big for me. And I also gave her a design of an outfit that I really, really wanted her to make. But anyway, so we let her get to work and then we made our way to Target. Target was actually having a really, really good sale. Beautiful sale. Some of the swimsuits were in sale, so that was really, really good. And I really love that for all of the girls that shopped at Target that day. Here's my sister being messy. Not too much on her though. I actually didn't do too much shopping in Target. I only got a two-piece set that I actually ended up not liking and I didn't return it because one thing about me, I don't return stuff. If I don't like it, I'ma just take the L. So the rest of the day we did was not part of maintenance so I'm not going to include that there. So I'ma see y'all tomorrow. I love laundry day. My sister and I and Mona Lisa helped. You see her helping. We decided to do laundry and typically with laundry day, I only wash all the new clothes that I bought because I don't like wearing new clothes that aren't washed. So I did all of that. And then I also washed my bed sheets, my pillowcases um, and blankets that I'm taking on the trip because I don't use a hotel, you know, blankets and stuff. My sister did one load. And then I did the next load, and then she did the next load. We just we just took turns and did what needed to be done. While our clothes were being washed, we washed. If you know, you know. If you don't know, you need to know. We washed the Pop the Balloon or Find Love. We love that show. One thing about me, I have to sit very close to the TV because your girl cannot see, and I don't wear my glasses because I've seen enough already. I didn't necessarily say like the one that was my piece. I said I, I look for pieces. Okay, this is my least favorite part about traveling, packing. I got the small suitcase and the medium, and then my mom was like, do you mind bringing the biggest suitcase with your carry-on because people are going to give you stuff to bring back to me. So I got the biggest suitcase. I also packed my toiletries. In this, I packed Monday body wash, massage roller because you need that for your face, facial cleansing brush, a tongue scraper, overnight lip mask, the way this makes your lips feel, thank me later. You don't gotta do it now, just do it later. And my absolute favorite is oil pooling. If you don't know about oil pooling, you need to know. I also packed some sunglasses. Sunglasses one, sunglasses two, sunglasses three, and sunglasses four. And that was that for that. Also packed some what I call tech gadgets. And in this, I packed my mini SD cards, my chargers, and a fan, cause it's gonna be hot. Another charger. If you watch my vlog, you know my phone was dead the whole trips, both trips. My mics, my camera charger, and that was that for that. This is the end result of the packing that my mama did. Cause one thing about her, she could pack for me. And one thing about me, I'ma ask, I'ma ask someone else to pack for me so she did all the packing and it looked great so kudos to her for packing my stuff because to me that's the hardest part about trips but that's done i'ma see y'all tomorrow today is wax day and eyebrow day 
So I woke up around seven o'clock in the morning, made apple, quote, I'm putting quotations, y'all can't see it, but I made apple juice because I wanted apple juice, but I don't like the real, real apple juice because the real, real apple juice don't be having the real, real stuff in there. But this is what it ended up looking like. Um, I also made some eggs and tater tots and I also toasted my bread and put mayo in it. And that was my little brekkie brekkie. We are now at our wax place. And today I am getting Brazilian and my armpits waxed by the beautiful, beautiful Gloria. Uh, Gloria and I actually went to high school together years and years ago. And she's just always been the sweetest. She's so sweet and so supportive. And so when I saw that she opened a wax place, I said, I must, I must go there and get my wax. And so this is what the place looks like. It's very beautiful, very, very put together. And I'm just so proud of her accomplishments and the things that she did in order to get to the place that she's in. She showed me some great products to get after my wax in order to maintain the wax and things like I'm that i'm gonna let her introduce herself to y'all hey y'all um make sure y'all come by my name is gloria i'm a waxer um my business is called waxify me and i'm located in 524 river street in mattapan i am open monday through sunday and yeah check me out you can follow me on instagram at waxify me I was pretty satisfied with both of the results of my waxes and she also gave me gifts due to the launch of her new business. Stress ball and an ingrown serum and an exfoliant. Thank you. I'm gonna add that for you. Oh yeah, and then the cookies. So I went home, changed, edited some videos really quick and ate and now we are on our way to get our eyebrows shaped and tinted this is my first time ever doing it i'm i was super 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 nervous but we finally made it to the mall our appointment was at 2 p.m we ended up getting there exactly at 2 20 and the whole time i kept saying oh my god i'm i'm, I'm embarrassed but luckily everyone was super sweet the ceo was nice she was like it happens you know there's a lot of traffic outside today and there was why was all those cars outside today <laughs> obviously all of this was communicated to them prior to us being late but anyways this is what the salon looks like it's very very beautiful our eyebrow person was jessica jessica was super super sweet she spoke to us in portuguese the entire time and we appreciated that because we need to perfect our portuguese i was very nervous because i've never done this before and never even thought of it but i was very satisfied so she took her time she was very meticulous and this is the end result of the eyebrows and i'm gonna do it again i'm gonna do it again not too much, but I'm going to do it again. <laughs> it looks a little dark right now. And I think that's naturally how it's supposed to be at the beginning. It's supposed to be a little bit darker. And then it lightens up as time goes by. But that was me just admiring the work. And she just did an amazing job. She also ended up doing my sister's as well. This is also my sister's first time. And she was over there crying. Oh, don't wipe it now. <laughs> Why are you crying? You're so childish, bro. She was over here crying in these people's nice salon. <laughs> I guess she doesn't like the threading of eyebrows. I get it. It wasn't, it wasn't the best feeling. But Jessica did her big one. Look at the results of my sisters as well. It just looks so good. As I mentioned, she was very meticulous. She really took her time. And it was overall a very good experience. I would do it again. Okay, you can get up. Thank you. Thank you. After the mall, we decided to walk around. And we came across this African entrepreneur. His brand name is Quenda. And it literally translates to go, why wait in Swahili. I believe he said he was Kenyan. If I'm wrong, I'm so sorry. Just the Africanism of his brand was so beautiful to see. And I love that for us. It's going to get better. We're going to have more options for you. All right, okay. but... So now you can spin. Do you spin? I thought you wanted to spin. Oh, you want me to spin? I hope you spin. 10 hours off? 10 hours off. That's a period. 
my sister ended up buying something as you saw i wanted that black crop top that you saw earlier but now you don't because someone bought it while i was talking to him <laughs> but my sister went back the next day and got it for me and now we are at sephora <laughs> I love coming into Sephora because I always want something from there. We also looked at some products from Sol de Janeiro, which is a Brazilian brand, which literally translates to Sun of January. Their stuff is amazing. I also wanted some eye patches from Topicals, but everything was sold out. So shout out to this African queen for selling it all out. So I decided to just order it online, hoping that I get it the day before my trip. And this is my sister and I just admiring the work that Jessica did. And after all of that, we decided to just walk around the mall a little bit more. We went to different stores. My sister ended up doing a lot of shopping for the trips. We also decided to step into Lancome because she needed a new foundation. Perfect. Oh, I didn't need any, but I ended up getting one anyways. They also had some really great samples for lipstick. I'm not a lipstick person, but I loved it. Next, we made our way back to Damo's in order to go try on the clothes that she made for us previously. We needed to try all the clothes that she made before she makes any final adjustments to them. Here's me rubbing Mona Lisa's back, pretending not to be freaking out. Hi, girl. Stay here. Stay with her. Oh, Mona, come here. It's okay. She's obsessed. My sister tried on her dress and it just looks perfect on her, as it should. And this is all the clothes that are for me. The airport pants that she adjusted for me ended up fitting perfectly, so she didn't need to do any further adjustments. So that was great. This is the two piece I was looking forward to as I was trying it on. My brother walks in and says, Right, but that looks nice. I agree. And you. Uh, she just did her big one like it just looks great look at the material per usual i was a happy customer i loved it we actually ended up going back to the mall again another mall because my camera was acting up so i thought that something was wrong with my lenses so we went to best buy to see if somebody could like figure out what's going on with the camera and the guy that helped bless him he did the best that he could but the rest of my videos looked like this everything was in slow-mo um but not too much on him he really did the best that he could this is not part of maintenance but my sister took me to this asian restaurant where they bring you your food on a robot where the robot brings you your food um and it was just a very cool experience and so she ordered the food for us and the drinks the food and the fish in general was very very inexpensive so i love that uh, my sister ordered food or tried to order us food and accidentally ordered two water bottles. Now we get in two. <laughs> Not too much on her though. Not too much on her. It's travel day. Today is the day that we are traveling. The topicals eye patches came very much on time thank you very much and then my sister also got me the crop top from the mall and then also the rest of the clothes from damos that were made for me thank you very much and today's day consists of me doing my lashes and my nails so let's start with the lashes good morning good how are you it was indeed a good morning this lady that does my lashes she always takes her time but she's very quick with the lashes so every time she finishes i'm always impressed i like my lashes very natural and very real this is the end result of it and i just really really love it this is me making my way to my next appointment which is to get these nails done because my nails were looking crazy i'm not even gonna halfway hold myself To the nail salon. 
One thing about me, I'm going to get my 10 points, okay? I started with my toe. My nail lady doesn't even ask me what color I want anymore. She just goes white for your toe, yeah. Um, <laughs> and I just, I, it's funny to me. I also decided to get a massage. I don't know if it's just me, but those massage chairs are very, very uncomfortable. Like, I do not be having the best time doing that. But anyways, everybody and their mama was in the nail salon that day. I was like, I love this for y'all. Y'all better get your pedicures and manicures and all that curves. Um, <laughs> this is the first time in seven years that I've ever put fake nails. I did gel X. It came out beautifully, but... If you watch the vlog, the travel vlog, you'll actually see that it wasn't the best experience. Um, after doing my nails, I decided to stay here and just listen to the water. So peaceful. Here is more videos of my nails. I sat there for a little bit and then I went home because my sister made a little snacky snacky for me and our goddess, Maisha, who's also traveling with us. Y'all say hi to Maisha. Say hi, Maisha. Hey, niggas. What? <laughs> <laughs> She's Just mad kidding. childish. Hey. But this is the end result of the food. It was amazing. My brother took us to the airport, and the yeah. rain was raining. Huh? Vuling. The thunder was thundering. Boston had a nasty day. But anyway, so we made it safe and sound to the airport. And we wanted to go ahead and say bye to y'all before we end the vlog. Here's my sister and our god sis saying, and me, saying bye to y'all. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much for supporting. And we are going to see you in Spain and Portugal. Peace and love.